This dude dropped his GoPro in the ocean and found some of the scariest things ever. From massive sharks to creepy statues to creatures so scary that I bet you won't even make it to the end of this video. This massive shark was spotted over 3,000 feet deep in the ocean. Of course, many people tried to claim that it was a megalodon, but you can tell it's a six gill shark. And those sharks get to be about 20 feet long. Any shark is too long for me, bro. Speaking of the Megalodon, I made these Megalodon t-shirts just for you guys, and you should check these out. The link's in the description, but not until you finish watching this video first. Imagine if you dropped your phone around a fishing pier and you thought it was all safe to jump in. Check this out. The ocean could just have my phone at this point, bro. Beluga whale returns phone. Now this would be a much safer option. Beluga whales have extremely high IQs. Definitely much smarter than Facebook users. Emotional damage! At 7,000 feet deep, this was caught on camera. This freaky looking thing is called the Magna Pinna, also called the Big Fin Squid. And if that one isn't freaky enough, check this one out. Bro, this is straight up nightmare fuel. I know it looks fake in the ocean, but this is 100% real. This alien is over 25 feet long, and this one's just a juvenile, because that's all we know of. Imagine. Big Mama must be even more thick. Okay, some. Oh, man! Imagine a squid is playing tag with you underwater. It will get your toes and then eat them. But this is what happens when you enter the buffet line in a deep ocean. Oh! Somebody! Oh! He needs oh. some milk! Luckily though, he isn't hurt since Goliath groupers really don't have a strong bite force. But it's just enough to scare you so bad, you need to change your scuba pants after that. Here's another deep sea shark. Now this one is the Pacific Sleeper Shark. And we used to think that these things just stayed in the deep ocean and were slow moving calm sharks. But now we know that isn't true and they do come to shallow waters and they're very ferocious predators. While this guy was scuba diving, he found some human remains. Oh my God. Guys, when I'm gone from this world, please don't throw me in the ocean. I'd probably die twice because I'm so scared of the ocean. Bruh. Now creatures aren't the scariest thing in the ocean. Imagine being in a deep sea and a submarine appears under you. Nope. What makes this so scary is that the submarine pings are so loud they could actually end your life, man. If I was bro in a deep sea, which I'm not, because I wouldn't be stupid enough to go in the deep sea, I'd be knocking on that submarine, freaking everybody out on the inside. Knock, knock, who's there? Me! But this is even scarier, guys. If you're swimming in the ocean and you're anywhere near a propeller on a submarine or boat and it starts up, you could end up being ocean sushi. Oh, he's angry. He doesn't like being held. He's got these like really giant teeth. Even though that wolf eel looks like it's been mewing for over 40 years, they're typically non-aggressive. Unless you put them out of the water, they can actually grow over 8 feet long and weigh up to 40 pounds, which makes them some of the largest fish in their habitat. What is it? What? That scared the science right out of me, guys. Bro got attacked by a sea serpent and survived to put it on TikTok. This video is called, When You Play With The Ocean, You're Gonna Learn Today. Anyway, many of you were shocked that I opened my eyes under salt water. I guess it must be an Aussie thing because in reality, it's just that easy to do. Plus, if your eyes are shut, how can you see the sand or the beautiful wave that rolls over your head? Also, how are you gonna look out for sharks? I look for sharks with my eyes open, but from the beach, bro, it must be an Aussie thing. This freaky looking ocean thing that floats around like a chicken without his head is called, wait for it, a headless chicken monster. Bruh. This is actually a type of sea cucumber and actually it preys on other mindless creatures like plankton and algae. Bro is a literal Twitter user. In the deep ocean, these guys found this crazy looking statue of a dragon. Besides it being pitch black in the ocean, what would you do if you accidentally bumped into that thing underwater? I'd be running. How deep is the Titanic? Okay, let's check it out. A lot deeper than I want to go, that's for sure. Oh, and this is exactly why. One Empire State Building. Two Empire State Buildings. That, three? Four, and it's going up high. Five, six empires, seven, dude. Eight empire state, eight and a half empire state buildings. That's about 3,800 meters deep. Was about 12,000 feet for us Americans. Ain't no way, bro. That thing sounds like a sounds like a baby. If you think that beluga whale sounds crazy, listen to this one. Dang, that bro got a 50 pack. He skipped arm and legs day though. Kinda like me. The amazing animal going home. Going home, looks like he's gone. If you call it going home. That octopus just gave the earth a colonoscopy. A wild aquarium. What do you mean it's the ocean, bro? Whoa, my guy has the fish radar glasses. He definitely upgraded his game pass, guys. Hey, I need some of those polarized glasses. What am I talking about? I'm never going in the water. I don't need those glasses. Look at the size of this fish. Boy, he fit. Boy. This fish is actually related to piranhas and they're called the Paku, but they're not aggressive. Thank God. I know, oh heck no, bro, when I see it. What are you talking about? Oh my gosh, that's huge, man. What is that turtle gonna do? Yep, that's the same thing I do. That turtle's my spirit animal. That's exactly what I would do to Sea monster caught on camera. 
Whoa, this dude just stirred up the entire ocean. How is he so calm though? Oh, I see what it is. Just manatees, guys. They get really freaked out in the ocean when you stir them up. Largest eyes in the history of the animal kingdom. I thought bro was gonna say me when I see my grandma naked. Ah! Giant squids actually have eyeballs, which are about 12 inches, which actually helps them to see in the deep ocean. Oh my gosh, is that oysters everywhere all over the... Hold on a second. That's not oysters. That's the blue bottle jellyfish, also called Portuguese man -o -war, which are highly venomous, by the way. This is nature's way of saying, stay out the water, folks. My first love was the ocean. Some people's idea of love and mine are not the same, bro. I mean, check it out, though. Every time she swims, the fish move out of her way. It's like she's aqua woman. Whoa. These dolphins are in so shallow. You know, dolphins actually give birth in shallow water. And yeah, they can have their baby there, as you can see it. I want to pick that baby up and take it home. What the heck? I thought bro was blowing bubbles out of his other end at first. Now, turtles do this to drop their weight so they can stay on the bottom and not be rocked around and pushed around by the ocean. What did bro just catch? <gasps> he just picked up an ocean balloon. That's actually a puffer fish. And they contain a toxin called tetradotoxin, which is incredibly dangerous to humans, guys. Puffer fish actually inflate like that to scare off predators. What if I could inflate to scare off predators? Wow! Whoa! Look at that! Oh. That thing looks just like Tolkien from Avatar and is about to get revenge on humans. Wow, now this is insane to see. These bikes have actually been under that water more than some of us have been alive. Yes, including me. This is creepy, guys. This is a statue and it's called The Drowning Girl and it's in Spain. It's supposed to remind people that your choices in life will either sink you or float you. All it reminds me of is not to go swimming. When people find out that Snooty the Lemon Shark has a permanent smile and likes nose rubs. Jeez, that thing has teeth like me. Wait till that shark's give bro a nose rub with his British teeth. Oh no man, one wrong move and it's over. One wrong snip and it's over. Oh no, he's gonna cut it. <gasps> Those are sharks. Luckily, those are just nurse sharks and they're pretty harmless. They're like the kittens of the sea, but they're still sharks. Let me get that. Yes. Bro just ate that like I eat chicken nuggets. Looks like he has a hook in his mouth though. Somebody needs to help that shark. Should I jump in and help him guys? Comment shark mate if you think I should. Yo, this penguin just decided to make a break out the zoo. <laughs> He's like, bro, I didn't know I would ever make it this far. He instantly regretted his decision. Look, he doesn't even know what to do. He's like, I'm free, guys. And I don't know what to do now. Can somebody please put me back in? Look, he's trying to jump back in. Oh, hey, at least he's going to help him. He's putting bro right back in prison. He ain't got happy feet no more. He is happy. That was kind of cute. What the heck? This giraffe must have saw a mouse or something on the floor and jumped. That's literally me when I see a mouse. I'm jumping on the nearest person on anything near me. Bruh. Look at him. What is that? Like a spider. It's, it's, that spider's like, can somebody please shut this lady up? She's screaming at me while I'm trying to take a bath. She saw me naked. Night running in Australia is different. Bro, everything in Australia is different. Whoa, I definitely, I wouldn't have seen that running. I'd be jumping off that bridge trying to get that spider off me. No. Unexplained things caught on camera. Me with hair. <laughs> You're gonna see that this is literally like thousands and thousands of these fish okay they're all coming to shore and they're trying to get out of when nature runs you run being like crazy they're flying around trying to get out of the ocean now i don't know if this is because there's some sort of like shark or whale coming in but there's like thousands of them and they're all coming up on shore right if the fish don't want to be in the water humans definitely should not be in the water bro fish actually do this when they're mating they come on shore to do this but imagine you're just doing that and somebody else come picks you up just imagine. I just walked through a giant web on my hike and here's my current situation. And here will be my current situation if that happened to me. Whoa! Can I pet that lion, bear, dinosaur, dog? That thing is huge. Wow. Tibetan mastiffs can weigh up to 150 pounds. Bro looks like Mufasa from Timu though. In case you haven't smiled today. Ooh, what is that, a fish? Oh, he's gonna feed his turkey. The sound, bro. Bro wants his food and he's stopping at nothing to get it. I do the same thing too. Can I pet that dog? I don't know what's going on here, but that bear sure is licking his lips like he sees something tasty. You better keep playing that music, bro. What the heck is going on here? Bears can hula hoop? What the? Hey man, if Blue starts twerking, I'm eating my goggles. Look how small they look. Is this a camera trick? Oh, that's baby gators. How many is that? It's like. Four. 
this person is an alligator whisperer. Look at that thing's born angry. Why is he so angry? That thing said it's dinner time and is about to make his fingers chicken nuggets. They're all coming out. He's just gonna feed this thing barehanded? What is he doing with that chicken? Like, oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> that crunch sound. I would definitely want to be on that thing's bad side. Or actually any side for that matter. What was that? What's coming up? Oh, <gasps> that thing just flew out. The fact that a 50 to 60,000 pound animal can fly out the water like a rocket is insane. And I can't jump six inches off the ground. Why is he making that sound? I thought little bro was making that sound at first. You better feed that seal, dude. Bro caught a mosasaurus. Actually more like a fakeosaurus since it's AI, but it's still pretty cool though. Now that's a seahorse. And that's exactly what I imagined when I heard the word seahorse. Not this curly cute, wimpy looking french fry looking of a thing. Look at this little guy. He's, he's little, man. Like really, t that thing's changing colors like you change moods. It's called a flash and tile fish, and yes, it's actually real. Ooh, what is that coming? Clouds? A storm? A oh, wait? That's birds? That is insane. I've actually never seen this before, man. I know it's called murmuration, but look at that is nuts. When birds fly all the same pattern, look at how many that is. What? Imagine if you're in the water and they hit you in the head. Gosh, that is sick. That's a lot of poop flying above that water. It's like a ocean wave in the air. I know that didn't make any sense, but it's still what it looked like. It pulled during an earthquake in Turkey. So what's gonna happen here? I see a little bit of shaking. Okay, that's a little bit more shaking. Look, you could hear it coming. <gasps> what? It's turning into a wave pool. I'm glad I'm not in that pool. What in the world? It's like the ultimate wave pool. It turned into a wave machine. Free surf lessons, bro. Wow. That thing would knock you against the wall, though. Maybe that's what happened to my hair, guys. It's got even worse. How's it not cracking, though? I guess it's just shaking. Baiting a camera and dropping it off a Florida fishing pier. Look at this little puffer fish. You guys probably thought they looked different. They do when they get all puffed up. But this dude is dripping off that bait like I eat Kit Kats. A little bit at a time. I just explain so much now when I see this in this video. How does bro know where the hook is though? He avoided it. I thought SpongeBob was lying. <gasps> I guess clams really do swim away. I mean, who knew they flopped around in the water like me? Imagine you were scuba diving and you came across these freaky looking statues. Now this artist, Jason Taylor, actually put these here because scuba divers are destroying the reefs everywhere and he's doing this to save the reefs. I mean, if I were him, I would put this crazy looking statue in the water. Wait, bro! You guys, don't forget to check out the t-shirts. The link's in the description. I made them just for you. And if you like this video, you might want to check this one out or this one instead. One more question. Are you ready to go swimming?